Hi and welcome again. So in this lecture we're going to see the transistors. So let's get started. So as you see over here, all these are transistors. Okay, I will explain to you what is the difference between MOSFET and the transistor. Basically the same principle, but I will explain to you all about it. So as you see here, for example. If we take this, so this is a transistor. This is a MOSFET transistor. Okay. Here we have the reference, as you see. This is the reference for this MOSFET or transistor. Okay. As you see over here. Okay. And also here, as you see, this is the body for this transistor, as you see. Usually, is connected to the pin to the central pin okay we will check all this using the multimeter so there is a lot of shapes and forms for the transistor as you see we have for example this is another transistor as you see okay and over here this is the symbol for this transistor as you see over here so this transistor is p in p as you see p in p in accordance with the symbol here I will explain to you what is the difference between PNP transistor and NPN channel okay NPN channel transistor and PNP channel transistor okay so we can find other in the shape as you see small transistors as you see okay so we find the ref the reference for this kind of transistor is here okay is in this side okay so always the transistor our mosfet has three terminals as you see over here three terminals okay but sometimes we can find other with more than three terminals for example for the mosfet with eight terminals so for this as you see this is a bad a bad transistor as you see we have here normally we have here four terminals because this is not a transistor a normal transistor this is an ic okay we find this kind of ic in the flyback power supply okay so i will explain to you first what is the difference between transistor and mosfet okay and then we will use the multimeter in order to check the transistor and find out if it is good or not i will explain to you how to differentiate between a bad transistor and a good transistor and how can we know if the transistor is pnp or in pn okay i will explain to you all this of course i will explain also to you the working principle of transistors and mosfets okay and i want to add about this okay this is a transistor over here okay with this as you see this part this is a heat sink okay because when the transistor or the mosfet works it generates the heat so it needs a heatsink as you see this is the purpose of this part is to cool the cooling or to cool down is to cool down this transistor okay as you see so this is the symbol for the transistor as you see so we can do like this okay so this is the base okay this is the collector and this is a metro okay so b for base okay so and c for collector and a for emitter okay we'll here we will let this part for the mosfet okay so here
transistor as you see okay here for transistor and here for the MOSFET okay so as I told to you base collector and emitter okay so this is a transistor there is an arrow we should add arrow maybe the arrow can be in this direction or in the other direction I will draw another transistor as you see so we have always collector emitter and base over here and in this time the arrow goes in this direction but here goes in this direction as you see from here from emitter to the base and here from base to emitter okay <coughs> so this type of this transistor where the arrow goes from base to emitter this is npn okay this is n P N transistor okay when the arrow goes in this direction this is NPN transistor and when the arrow goes in the in the other direction I mean from emitter to base this we call this PNP transistor okay I will show all this using the multimeter and we will differentiate between a PNP transistor and NPN transistor okay just step by step okay so the working principle so for example if we, we want to know about this transistor is it PNP or NPN what should we do using the multimeter so using the multimeter basically we can add other tanks here so basically we can add a diodes here so for the NPN transistor okay we can add this this is a diode okay here this is a diode and we have here another diode as you see okay so this is NPN here this is the negative terminal for the diode so we can put here N here we have the positive we have, so here P and here this is other negative terminal for the diode so let's put N so this is NPN that's why we call it we called it in PN. So for this, for P in P, normally we have here P, okay, N, P. Means the diode should be in this side, okay, and also like this, okay. So we have P, as you see, this is the anode. And the cathode, the cathode are gathered, are connected together in the PNP transistor. And for NPN transistor, the anodes are connected together. This is just a theoretical, okay? So this is PNP. So for the NPN transistor, if we use using the multimeter, if we put the red probe here. And the black probe here means if we put the red probe in the base and the black probe in the emitter, we should get a reading about 500, 300, or 700 ohms in the multimeter. And when we switch this, okay, the black probe to the collector, as you see, because we have here negative, we should see another reading but the opposite I mean if we put the black probe here and the red probe here or here we should not get any reading in the multimeter okay because here this is the positive here we have P but we put the black this is N 
So, and here we have N. And for the positive or the P input transistor, if we put the negative, as you see, we have here N. So let's put here N. If we put the negative probe or the black probe in the base and the red probe here in the collector, as you see, we have here P, we should get a reading in the multimeter. And when we put in the other time the red probe in the emitter, we should get a, a also reading. If we change these probes like this, so here we have in we we put the red probe here in the base and the black probe here, we should get no reading. Also here, no reading. So let's check it out using the multimeter. So let's put here the multimeter, as you see here. Okay. And using this, 